Welcome back to part two of The Ref Show with David and with uh, Mark. We've just got two or three games from the Premier League to wrap up before we get on to our talking points this week. We're looking on URTheRef.com for younger referees to progress. Robert Madley in the 2-2 draw between Spurs and Stoke. Stoke had a two-goal fight back, launched by, it was a really tight penalty decision uh, in the corner of the area. How did you feel he got on with that? I thought he'd done very well. I mean... Once again, I think um, Robert looks like he's lost a little bit of weight, so he's getting he's getting a little bit fitter, getting himself in into positions. I, I've got to say, when I watched it on TF, oh blimey, that looks uh, you know, most probably looked a bit a bit tight. But when you saw it again, absolutely spot on. Yeah, great, 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 yeah, great, yeah. great call, great call, and uh, you know, well well done. Um, and he's lost a bit of weight, David. I'll go, just keep off the weight thing. I'm not getting involved. <laughs> right? You know, I don't look at I don't look at the referee how good he, what his diet is and how his weight is. I look at him how, what decisions he's making. Yeah. And he made a great decision yeah, there, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you're talking about you know sort of young young referees. I mean, his brother, Andrew. Andrew. You know, yeah. I, I think he should be he should, he should be given a chance. You know, I really do. Talk about development referees. There's one that I saw, uh, and I'm a layman on referee. You know, I just get a perception of what, how they do. And I saw Chris Kavanagh uh, uh, on an opening game, Preston nil, Middlesbrough nil, and I was quite impressed with him. Calm control. Mm. And I noticed he followed that up with Reading nil, Leeds nil. So he's had two games this season and no goals. But I think he's one for the future, do you? Yeah, I think you know, comes from. I think he's from Manchester. And like like I said earlier in in, in the first part, that you know these 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 ref young referees that are showing you know um, all the signs of perhaps making that next step up, give them a run. Give them a run of of, of championship games. You know, I understand we're gonna they're gonna be making the championship next season. You know, full-time referees with I think twelve referees and four part-time referees. So this is this is this is really good for you know for their development. We're certainly moving forward with it. That's yeah, and yeah. that's what and we're asking. You know, that's every week we, we talk about this, and, and, and for me, that's what we're wanting to happen. And, and it seems to be creeping yeah. in slowly. And, and you, you see know, plenty of championship be, football. Yeah, definitely, Wednesday, definitely, and uh, things are getting better. But we've been talking about this for quite some time. We you know moving the championship in, into professional uh, area and. It can only be. It can only be good for. Yeah, them, definitely, you know. definitely. There was a Friday night game, lest we forget. Manchester United winning at Aston Villa, Hursty, and uh, I think uh, well, ref cam, uh, Andy Martin rated an overall good performance from Mike Dean, the normally reliable Mike Dean. Apart from just just one, uh, should have been a penalty to Villa. Uh, should have been. Should have been. You know, one of those situations, isn't it? You know, he's he's got to make a decision. Uh, he makes it as he as he sees it, and that's that's how it unfolds. How did he not get that or see that, or well, none of the officials did? To be fair, did no. He? It's I mean those situations. Yes, it, I mean Mike's he's an excellent referee, and you know we all we all yeah. miss things, don't we? All we all make errors. That's and, what I say, and, you, human nature, human yeah. error, it, it happens, and we've we've got the hindsight of yeah. you know replays and everything else. Yeah. You know the split decisions, and that's what the referee is there for, and you know he sees it as he sees it. And uh, Mike rarely makes. Errors. He rarely makes errors, and well, like I say it's very difficult sometimes when the corner comes up. There's so many bodies in there. There's so much going on. You can't look at everything. You can't, you can't see time. everything. So no. yeah, I mean, Mike could look back at that and say, "Oh, oh yeah, I've, I've missed that one." And most probably look at his position. But you can understand how. Yeah. The fact, the fact that he actually gets the header in. Yeah, yeah perhaps thinks you know. You think, oh, okay, yeah. Yeah. As, he, as he claimed, he's made a bad header. Yeah. Is yeah. was it his mistake rather than the pull? Yeah. You know, so yeah. maybe that contributed yeah. to it. I think perhaps had he not got there, it might have been a different scenario. Yeah. There were other difficult calls in another game. This was for Anthony Taylor. Uh, big debating points over what Leicester's win at West Ham by two goals to one, both involving goalkeepers, strangely enough. Let's deal with the first one. Uh, Hammers, by common consent, were denied what should have been a penalty, although first sight was Schmeichel blocking out uh, Sarko. It, it didn't look like a foul, did it? In real time. Well, I mean, Schmeichel, I'll tell you about the players as well, Eric, but Schmeichel was fantastic, didn't he? Mike, Mike, I think, I think Schmeichel sold, um, sold, made the referee's mind yeah, up yeah, for him. Yeah. But, you know, I wouldn't blame Anthony Taylor there, you know, fully, because you've got to look at the assistant. What's the assistant doing over that far side? He's not got to worry about offside. So he's, he's looking straight at that. And he has to, yeah, for me, he has to see that. Anthony Taylor's most probably some, some distance back. And, and from where Anthony is, he's not going to guess. And so it's easier, perhaps, to give nothing and, and, and play on. But Very it was, clever by the keeper. It was, it, it was, it, it was an out-on penalty, yeah. but it wasn't a denial. So I think, for me, it would have been a, a penalty and uh, nothing else. Let's how you see how you two guys see the other big talking point there. Late in the game, uh, keeper comes up. This is Adrian of West Ham, comes up for a corner and ends up with one of these high boots into the uh, chest of an opponent. It's a straight red Anthony, from uh, Anthony Taylor. Mark? 
Yeah, I mean, it's very topical at the moment, isn't it? Yeah, it's yeah. This, this high boot uh, mm. law. Um, it's no it, intent. It's no, no, that's, that's irrelevant. It's in, it intends to be taken out of the laws again. You know, not every high boot is going to be a foul or, or, or a free kick. But I can fully understand Anthony Taylor's um, thinking on this. You know, has, has, he, um, has he endangered the player's so reckless challenge with excessive force? Has he endangered the player's safety? And the way, I mean, listen, Adrian's high is totally on the ball, but that... That's that, that's irrelevant. He's, he's 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 come out. I can understand. I can understand. He's thinking, and he's, 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 his studs have gone right into the midriff of um, the yeah. um, Leic yeah, Leicester player. The player and I, listen, I, I think I think if he'd shown a yellow card, he'd have been supported. And I think because he's shown a, a red card, he'd also be supported. It's one of those where yeah. you'd support either. But he way. couldn't see that the, for the me, opponent was there. Could for he, me, really? definitely not a red, for the simple reason of where it happened, how it happened, and the personnel involved. You know, he's turned, his, his eyes are on the ball, he's looking at the ball, he doesn't even know there's a man behind him. He turns with a, a reaction of getting his leg in the air and there happens to be a player there. But it's a textbook red. But you think I think in the middle of the park, two, two midfield players going at it at that then oh. all day long. But I think the keeper, he's turning blind. If, if you run into somebody just off the turn and running blind, is that a red card? Oh, what's yeah. the difference? Sorry, what's you know, and you clash heads or whatever, you're endangering the player. I mean... I can see a little bit of the, the red, but for me, yellow card, and uh, I think everybody would have understood that. What's, tell me, the, what's the difference between two players in midfield? And, so, 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 so is Adrian... Facing not, each other. Adrian Facing each other. Facing each other. Not, not turning and doing it on a blind spot. Yeah. You'll have to agree to disagree. Let's see if he I think if I'd have it. been the player getting it in the rims, I'd have wanted him yeah. sending off. But. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's have a coming together Mind on you wouldn't this. wouldn't hurt you today, would it? <laughs> <laughs> Let's get you coming together on this subject. Mark wrote a blog about points deductions. He feels for dissent towards referees and routes. They've changed it this season. It's two or more players rather than three, and clubs get into trouble. But what about this from uh, County Cricket, from the England and Wales Cricket Board? Uh, for a persistent uh, dissent over a 12-month period by Leicestershire in the county championship, five incidents of dissent towards umpires and opposing players. They've docked them 16 points. Now, you get 16 points for a win. It's equivalent to almost yeah, yeah. You know, three points in, in football. Um, should the football be looking like that? I, I think so. I mean, as, as, as a, speaking as a former referee, sometimes when things are going on around you, you don't see the amount of players that surround you on decision-making because you're just so focused and so mentally tuned into what's going on. And, and I, looking at it, I, I, you know, showing the yellow cards or... Um, what, what happens at the moment, the referee will then go back and look at it after the game and then he will put in a report that he was surrounded by so, so many players. But see, and all, what, what the FA are doing, they're just finding the clubs, you know, and the, the players, the players are not fussed about that, are they? They're not, they're not, they're not worried. So for me, you know, if, if, they're, if they're doing it on a regular occasion, uh, occurrence, as Leicester, as Leicester have, been. have been doing, then deduct them points. Deduct one point, two point, three points. That will soon, that will soon stop it. But I think, I think I for me, no. Definitely not. I think what we've got to do is come from the top where we've changed this year. You can't have a group of players, but you can have two players around the referee. That's ridiculous. But, but last if it's the captain, OK, I'll play that. Yeah, Nobody should be going approaching the referee. No. I know I've done it in the past, but okay. you, shouldn't, you shouldn't be doing that. And Until we stamp that out of the game, there'd be no need for that. We know for the deduction on points. It, you've got to clear, clear the area and the fact that we're saying that, OK, you two can go and have a go at the referee. That's all right. But you look at how many so times... You're saying Cut it out altogether. Or the referee. It's, the, it, it's a matter of, I think, the rugby do it, don't they? Of, yeah. It's the captain. Captain can go up and ask the question. Not mm. lambast the referee. He can go and ask the question. Referee deals with the captain, yeah. sends him away. Well, that, That's how it should referees be. Referees being strict on that. Yeah, I mean, but you know, it's, it's like now too. But last season it was, it was three and it was happening all the time. And if you look at this weekend, look how many times players surrounded the referee. It happened in every game. But in it, every game. You're going to get to a situation, end of the you season, know. looking at the champions, final day of the season, uh, a situation happens, a penalty not given or given, yeah. players go around there and you lose the title from that. But they know. But then they know that the, they, they the know, game's they about know, though, Mark. But, is it? But, but if it, yeah. you know, the game's about the competition but entirely through the season, you know, you don't have not to, of you docking don't points. Suspend, you know, suspend it for a certain. You know, just say we're going to suspend it. We're going to suspend the points. You know, if it happens again, then you will you will lose one point. You know, I'm not it's, saying three, it's four, very five. Difficult to, it, it, to, it is. It is to, difficult. To, it is. You know, but, office of that. It's yeah. it's a situation. Players react to certain situations. Yeah, but all I do believe that they shouldn't be allowed to approach the referee, but the captain should, because yeah. he's there to control his players. He's the, he's the manager on the team, if you like. 
you know, on the field. Uh, referee, captain, everybody else, keep your nose out. But there's, there's, no, there's no harm in, in players coming around the referee and talking to him sensible. You've got to allow that. You've got to differentiate between who's, 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 yes, who's yeah, sure, aggression sure. But, and who's coming up to you to talk. Because you like the banter on the pitch. But you yeah. know for a fact, like I say, I mentioned rugby. That, that's not how it works in rugby. People right. keep their mouth shut, oh, get on, because they know they're going to get docked 20 yards, 10 yards, whatever, yeah. or, or penalties, whatever it's going to be. You did talk about That's rugby. Like I watched Nigel Owens in the, um, Austra the New Zealand Australia game, and I thought he was absolutely fantastic the way he managed them players and the way the players respected him. That's, Just shake that's hands, a big difference. Wouldn't? That's a big difference. The players, re the players respected him. Just shake hands. All I have to do is light the blue tops paper and retire. I've sat here for saying nothing. That's the way I like it. We'll have your money today. <laughs> I'm out to do nothing. It's brilliant. Hursty and Housey, thanks very much indeed. Thank you to you for watching. Any points or queries, don't forget where we are. You are the ref.com and we'll see you next week. Bye.